I'd like to talk about what takes place when a woman is interested in you and all you're doing is ignoring her. I don't know about you, but I've been in a lot of situations in my life where I didn't care for a woman even if she was interested in me and wanted to get together with me for some reason. Women have tried to get my attention. I was either completely unaware of what they were doing at all times or I knew exactly what they were doing and was simply leading them on and friend zoning. But they kept trying, calling and messaging me repeatedly or just trying to spend as much time as they could with me to make me think they were available. Naturally, they were acting in the same manner as the Venus flytrap. If you're a fly, it just smells nice and makes you want to eat it. The trap then springs open when you enter. I think that many women stay with a guy long enough to fall for it because, at first, if they are talking to you, they are usually a captive audience, especially at work or school. So you, the man they want, pay attention to them. Second, if they spend enough time around you, they probably believe that you'd sense their attraction to you. I've been there several times and could have easily been with additional women in my teens and twenties, but I was too stupid to notice their interest in me, even though they were right there almost sending up a flare. I remember how I felt when I saw this picture of Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. I reflected on myself. This must have been the look on my face and attitude when those women were interested in me, but I was too busy doing other things in life to care about them or their advances. This collection of images is hilarious to me. It makes me wonder about her new husband because I believe she was just married at the time. This picture occurred to Jim Ripton's thoughts. She was with Jim for three years, they had a child together, and in their wedding picture, you could see the awful look on the guy's face that looked like a deer with headlights. After their marriage ended, she got married to another director named Sam Mendes and had a son with him. She became a single mom for the second time in 2008 and 2009 after that relationship also came to an end in 2011. She has no interest in Leo. Leo only dates women who are models and under the age of 25 though. Given that she is currently in her 40s and has three children with three distinct men, I doubt he would have pursued her. She also claims that Titanic's filming took seven months of extremely hard work. Additionally, she asserts that they never shared a crush. I don't know about you, but these pictures make me believe that he is simply ignoring her, which tells me a very different story. She got married to Ned Rock and Roll in 2016. This individual changed his name from Rock and Roll to Smith to demonstrate good character to their daughter. I'm glad that DiCaprio continues to follow his path. Technically, just think of all the women who would act in rage while pretending to be happy for a while. When Kate got her hands on her Titanic co-star DiCaprio, it appeared as though he was ignoring her at the time, when she was only 20 years old. Ladies, a man has standards. I believe that women are afraid of being rejected based on images from the past two decades. Therefore, when a man does not respond to their advances, they keep intensifying their attention until one of two things occurs. Either he finally gives in and gets together with her, or she finally gives up because she realizes that he's not interested in her as a man. The question ought to be, is it preferable to ignore a woman and slowly crush her hopes, or to publicly reject her? Naturally, the response is that you will endanger her fragile ego if you act so boldly. It's better to just smile and watch as her desperate expression gets worse. She still has a small hope that you will eventually say yes, so you are doing her a favor. However, if you are anything like me, you are aware that you are intentionally wasting your time. She's getting older every time she wastes time with you, which means she can't attract another guy to a relationship. By ignoring her advances, you are not only doing her a favor by remaining polite, but you are also keeping some other poor guy free for just a few more moments. He might be able to transform into a MGTOW monk and a red pill man in those few brief moments, based on my experience ignoring interested women. They all lacked the bravery to ask me straight out if I was interested in going out on a date. I acknowledged that a few of them did, but they were the more powerful and intelligent women. 
They bravely took the chance of being rejected. I ignored most of the good-looking ladies, which were the most stunning until they lost interest and moved on. It is possible for a woman to eventually give in to a man and play hard to get, but it is much less likely for a man to do the same. But that doesn't mean that there aren't women who think that if a guy just ignores them, he's demonstrating his dominance in the relationship because he has a higher intimate market value and that he will eventually hurt her when he says yes to her. I've known women who resisted a man's advances for long periods to see how obsessed he was with her. There was a good chance that he would be obsessed with keeping her if he was obsessive about getting her over a long period. I don't believe it's the same for women who are more likely to commit rather than lose interest quickly. In high school, I had one girl who was obsessed with me for about a year. She was cold when I finally accepted her advances and got to know her, and we quickly lost interest in one another. When a woman finally catches up to you, she won't want you anymore and will sometimes chase you while you ignore her. She probably wanted to know that she could have gotten that man in the first place. She gains confidence once she attracts him. However, she wants a new challenge. We are all aware that the worst thing a man can do to a woman is not to hate her but to ignore her. A woman is cut off from her narcissistic supply if you ignore her. It entails causing her to question her status and destroying her self-esteem. For a man, it's like having an existential crisis. A man only needs to smile, nod, and decline which amounts to an open invitation to set that off. Behind a sparkling smile, of course, she will gradually lose her mind and confidence. She'll probably think to herself that you're gay or that you're seeing a better woman than her as she looks at you. As a result, that makes you a bigger target. She won't even consider the possibility that he doesn't find me attractive or that he is leading me elsewhere. That was one thing that every woman I ignored did not seem to understand. In terms of being placed in the friend zone, I suppose it might not happen to them very often. They might not realize what the friend zone is in the first place for five to 10 years. Therefore, being in a friend zone is probably even rarer and more perplexing for women. However, as I stated earlier, outright rejecting a woman is distinct from quietly being placed in the friend zone. She will cry if you say, no, you're not interested. It only makes her appear lower that you don't tell her anything and politely decline her advances until she eventually gives up and stops caring about anything. Also, don't forget that ignoring a woman's advances doesn't mean she doesn't simultaneously make advances on half a dozen other guys. She's playing the numbers game. She'll forget about the other guys for the time being because one of the men she wants will eventually do the same for her. Because there are always men willing to give a woman a chance, putting her in the friend zone doesn't mean anything to her. Therefore, even if she is aware that you are making her a friend, she may attempt to emotionally exhaust you until you give in. Because men who play hard to get see that they probably have options, I believe women play hard to get. Therefore, if they play hard to get even with men who are significantly more valuable than them in the marketplace, after that, it raises their value. As the future gets better and easier to access every year, women will become more and more ignored. That is unquestionable. Not only will the men they want ignore them, but they will also ignore the men they don't want. I don't know for sure, but I think that in today's society, a lot of the attention women get comes from guys who are or used to be friend-zoned. As more of these guys give up on love or find better things to do, they're getting more and more attention from women. In the end, if no one is paying attention to or looking at the women, their general agitation and anger will only grow. However, they are compelled to work and support themselves, with no hope of having children or receiving attention in the future. Living there is miserable. Additionally, it is a recipe for failure for many men. Instead of focusing on their careers, women will lash out at men who are not paying attention to them and place the blame on them. Before marriage and rat traps, despite ignoring Japanese women and refusing to conceive, the Japanese government has not yet broken the will of the men and society. It would appear that everything that occurs in that nation first will occur later in the West. While I do not know of any Japanese women who have retaliated against men for not paying attention to them. I do know that the situation is similar in South Korea, 
where women are becoming feminists and retaliating. However, I believe that's exactly what women in Western governments will attempt to do in order to focus on women once more. They will completely ban adult content. Of course, forcing a man to date anyone is a violation of his free will. However, suppose governments get so desperate that they make men go on dates and spend time with women. Almost comparable to jury duty, but enough of my ranting. That concludes my remarks for the day.